Well, the former owner of a dog daycare business is now in some big trouble. Prosecutors filed two felony charges for voyeurism against him, saying he admitted to secretly recording an employee in the company restroom. Our crime beat reporter Steve Jefferson is now live tonight outside of that doggy daycare about what all went down inside. Steve? For the dogs you see behind me here in Zionsville has a new owner, but some of the same employees still work here who never thought the previous owner would be accused of secretly recording them. He never seemed like he would do that to anyone. Samantha Evans is an assistant manager at For the Dogs, a daycare for family pets. When she started working here, Raymond Bridges owned the business, but this is his jail booking photo. In court documents, Zinesville police say he admitted to secretly recording one of his employees in this company restroom. For the Dogs is on Zinesville Road in a small strip mall. Bridges reportedly started the recording feature on his cell phone and hid it inside a first aid kit. The employee spotted his cell phone while changing clothes and stayed quiet until telling the police. Samantha Evans says this case is a lesson for everyone. If you ever feel uncomfortable in a bathroom, hold it or go somewhere else. If there is something in the bathroom that makes you feel uncomfortable, grab a towel or a blanket and cover it up. Don't do something that makes you feel uncomfortable. A judge signed two search warrants for Zionsville police to look for evidence here at Raymond Bridges' home on the south side of Indianapolis. During a second search warrant at For the Dogs, officers confiscated a computer, cell phone, and media storage devices. The employees here at For the Dogs, they're hoping that some of the old clients who left will come back since Bridges is no longer here. On the Crime Beat, I'm Steve Jefferson.